The more money you get, the more expensive your lifestyle becomes. But even for the uber rich, sometimes things get out of hand. From rebuilding the Titanic to a Saudi prince's flying palace, I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 crazy things people spend money on. 25. Steve Cohen's 14-foot preserved shark. The owner of the New York Mets is billionaire Steve Cohen, who apparently served as inspiration for one of the characters on the TV show Billions. And looking at his life, it's not hard to see why. Apart from receiving a record $1.8 billion fine for insider trading, Steve is known for spending on lavish items, and none stranger than a 14-foot completely preserved shark. The shark is actually part of a piece of artwork, which Steve paid at least $8 million for, but the true amount has never been revealed. 24. Larry Ellison's Island When you're rich enough, doors, locations, and land open up for you. For some, they can even afford to buy entire islands which is what tech billionaire Larry Ellerson did in Hawaii. He bought 98% of the island Lanai for $300 million. Thousands of people live on the island, which has two schools and a hospital. Ellerson has already built two Four Seasons Resort, I guess making it eight seasons, and says that he wants to transform the island into a sustainable tourist destination powered by renewable energy. Oh, well, that's nice. 23. Clive Palmer's Titanic. They say that history repeats itself. But usually that doesn't mean a single person reenacting a tragic event. Eccentric Australian billionaire Clive Palmer is spending upwards of $500 million to construct Titanic 2, a full-scale replica of the famous unsinkable ship that hit an iceberg and sank in 1912. When asked why, well, he said it's more fun than sitting at home and counting his money. Let's hope that there aren't any icebergs around on the ship's main voyage, or he might be counting his money while sinking on a Titanic mistake. 22. Carlos Slim's Museum in Mexico The Mexican business giant Carlos Slim made more than $100 billion in manufacturing, communication, mining, and a range of other industries. But where he spends his money is in creative ways. Named after his late wife and one of their daughters, Slim built Museo Somaya in 2011, which has become one of Mexico's biggest museums. The structure itself was designed by Slim's son-in-law and cost around $70 million but what's inside is worth 10 times that amount. The collection of art is said to be worth around 700 million, including Monet, Van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, and Salvador Dali. 21. Elon Musk's Car Submarine Elon Musk is renowned for his tech-minded vision at Tesla and SpaceX, and Twitter, and sometimes he takes inspiration from movies too. That's why he spent $900 million on a submarine car that appeared in the 1977 James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me. It's a Lotus Esprit that doesn't actually have the capability of going underwater. Yet. Apparently, Elon is planning to make into a fully functioning submarine car, which would be the first of its kind. Not the first one of his things to sink, so there's that. 20. Jocelyn Wildenstein's Plastic Surgery some things are worth more than material goods. For a 72-year-old woman from New York, Jocelyn Wildenstein, that's her appearance. She's had several plastic surgery procedures to reconfigure her face to look more like a cat for some reason. All her surgeries have reportedly cost her $4 million, but while she does seem to look more cat-like, I think it would have been better with natural aging. But hey, what do I know? I'm, I'm not a billionaire. 19. Maxim Viktorov's violin. Music transcends language, time, and space, but it doesn't escape money. A Russian businessman named Maxim Viktorov knows that all too well. He broke the world record for the price of a musical instrument in 2008 when he bought a violin for more than three and a half million dollars. For that kind of money, you could get a violin handcrafted by one of the field's masters back in 1741. Rather than keeping it in his collection, Viktorov promised that it would be lent to violinists for the public to hear. Uh, Alright. Still. 18. Jeff Bezos When you're a billionaire, if you start getting bad press, the solution is simple. Just buy a newspaper company. That's what Jeff Bezos did in 2013 when he spent $250 million to acquire the Washington Post, a well-respected news outlet that dates back to 1877. The Post is famous for breaking Watergate, but had been on the brink of financial ruin in the years leading up to Bezos' purchase. 
The Amazon founder reversed that within a few years to make the organization profitable, but many worried about what it meant for freedom of press. 17. Prince Han Adams II Fancy Furniture Prince Hans Adam II is Liechtenstein's head of state. You'd be forgiven for not knowing where this tiny European country is. It is the sixth smallest in the world. But what it lacks in size, it makes up for in its history, with a royal family going back more than 800 years. And to match that rich history, Prince Adam II has collected some of the most expensive furniture on Earth. The latest being a $36 million wood chest made in 1732, which he donated to the Liechtenstein Museum. 16. Sultan of Brunei's Car Collection Forget furniture. One thing that every boy dreams of is owning fast cars. And the Sultan of Brunei has amassed a collection that's worth more than even some of the richest people on Earth. Made up of more than 7,000 cars, it's been valued at an eye-watering $5 billion. Bugattis, Porsches, BMWs, Ferraris, Bentleys, and a McLaren F1. Look, with 7,000 cars, surely you wouldn't notice if I took one for a quick spin, right? Right? 15. Bill Gates' Scientific Scribbles Bill Gates made his fortune as a tech wizard, but he's also a history buff who loves to fill his house with rare books. Among them is the most expensive book ever sold, which Gates bought for just over $30 million in 1994. What do you get for that amount of money? A personal notebook from the famous artist, inventor, and all-around genius, Leonardo da Vinci. It features dozens of sketches and ideas about planetary motion. It's not exactly a page turner, but it is an important historical document. 14. Ken Griffin's Pair of Paintings Not to be outdone by Bill Gates, the billionaire Ken Griffin bought two of his own historical pieces. Only these were contemporary paintings. And they cost 15 times the price. One was a piece by Dutch painter Willem de Kooning, and another was a Jackson Pollock. For these two pieces, Ken spent a half billion dollars, but he swears it's a smart investment. 13. William Koch's Billy the Kid Photo The Wild West has become a huge part of American cultural identity, and few figures reign larger than Billy the Kid, an outlaw who committed a string of crimes around the country before he was shot down at the age of 21. Billy has become something of a legend, which is why billionaire William Koch spent $2.3 million on a photograph of him. I wonder which criminals we should be taking more pictures of now. Maybe it could be worth fortunes in the future. Wow. 12. Prince Alwalid bin Talal's Flying Palace The rich buy private jets to travel around, but the mega rich? They buy entire commercial airplanes. Saudi Prince Alwalid bin Talal has been flying like this for years, and in 2010 ordered himself a shiny new Airbus A380, which set him back a cool $130 million. Pfft, that's all? Chump change. He planned to fully customize the aircraft with electronic prayer mats that automatically turned towards Mecca, a Turkish bathroom, and a garage for his beloved Rolls-Royce cars. But before even receiving the plane, the prince sold it to the king of Saudi Arabia, making it more of an investment than the flying palace he first envisioned. 11. Roman Abramovich's Super Yacht Known for being the former owner of Premier League football team Chelsea, Russian-Israeli billionaire Roman Abramovich has always had the money to do whatever he wants. And when he's not furthering his career mingling with Russian or Israeli politicians, he's kicking back on his super yacht, the Eclipse, which is one of the most luxurious in the world with a price tag of $700 million. The Eclipse spans 563 feet in length and includes a mini submarine, two helipads, bulletproof glass, and even a missile defense system. That means you're either very safe on board or very unsafe. Exactly who are your enemies, Roman? 10. Data Puge's Gold Shirt Fashion can be a sign of wealth and status. At times more subtle than this next man, an Indian investor named Data Puge, who bought himself a completely solid gold shirt to wear. It was created by a team of more than a dozen goldsmiths working for weeks, the labor and materials adding up to over $17,000. Oh, I hope he doesn't walk into the wrong neighborhood, otherwise someone could take everything, including the shirt on his back. Oh no, I just saw how he died. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that man was beaten to death by like 12 people. I just read that. I was trying to figure out Brad's name. Oh boy. <laughs> Nine. Sheikh Hamad's name in the sand. 
Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayyan has it all, including a private island, Al Futaisi, located in the United Arab Emirates. But he wanted a little recognition for his ownership, and what's more clear than writing your name in huge letters in the sand? The letters spell out Hamad and are big enough to be seen from space. We get it. You have an island. Gah. All right. Eight. Bono's $1,700 plane ticket. Given what we've already seen on this list, $1,700 on a plane ticket doesn't seem so extravagant. Sure, it was first class, but U2's Bono is one of the biggest rock stars in the world, so it makes sense. That is until you learn that the ticket wasn't exactly for Bono. Or for any of his friends or family, for that matter. Instead, the ticket was booked for his hat. That's right, the flight was from London to Italy for an upcoming performance, and apparently he wanted his hat to fly in the same level of comfort. Sorry, buddy, I'm not spending $1,700 on a ticket for you. You're going to be on my head where you belong. 7. Madonna's Holy Water In plenty of different cultures, holy water is a sacred part of ceremonies. If you reach the status of ultra-rich, though, then you can bypass the ceremony and purchase your own supply. That's what pop star Madonna does. She insists on only drinking Kabbalah water that has been blessed within the Jewish mystic tradition. This water, which she claims is the secret to her health, costs her $10,000 a month. I'll, I'll, Madonna, I'll bless your water for $10,000 a month. I, I know some. Baruch Hatad Nayel Hanamel Chalom Asher Kishan of Amitzvah Tav Vitzivan Lachanik Ner Shel Shabbat. That's probably not the prayer they say for that. I do not know the prayer for blessing water. I'll still do it for $10,000 a month. Six, Paris Hilton's designer dogs. Paris Hilton once spent the price of a modest car on two tiny dogs. She dropped $25,000 on two Pomeranians, one for her and one for her mother. Even at full size, these only grow to about five pounds, making them a perfect dog to carry in your handbag. But at that price, you'd have to worry about them getting stolen. Five, Rachel Hunter's mini mansion. Speaking of dogs, the actress model Rachel Hunter also spent a small fortune on her pets. But this wasn't for the dogs themselves, instead it was to buy a mini mansion for them. It's fully equipped with windows, tiny terracotta roof tiles, and stepping stones leading to a front door. For this little novelty, Rachel spent more than many people earn in a year. $50,000. 4. Lewis Hamilton's Guitar Usually known for racing around the track at hundreds of miles an hour, Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton has an artistic side to him as well. He enjoys music, and once bought a $100,000 Fender Stratocaster from Prince. Unlike many of the other things on this list, though, the money went to a good cause as part of fundraising for Prince's charity, the Harlem Children's Zone. So, thumbs up for me. 3. Ashton Kutcher's Tickets to Space it's not unusual for the wife to have the final say, but usually that means guys night out or watching sports, not space travel. After actor and investor Ashton Kutcher splashed $200,000, he was set to fly on a Virgin Galactic flight alongside with the company's owner, Richard Branson. That was until his wife Mila Kunis convinced him that it wasn't the smartest risk to take. Uh, just checking, but those tickets are returned, right? 2. Kanye West's Gold Toilets how did we get so far into this list without mentioning Kanye West? <sighs> well, as one of the strongest personalities in the music industry, Kanye does what Kanye wants. For a man who loves the finer things in life, even the toilet should be a place to feel wealth. And what better way than by installing a toilet made of gold? It costs $750,000, but now he can poop knowing he's probably has the most expensive toilet in the world. <sighs> As a Jewish man, I have some words for Kanye, but you know, it's family friendly here, so I won't. One, Elton John's flowers. You ever been to the florist and wondered how flowers can be so expensive? Well, people like Elton John pushing up the price may have something to do with it. In a court case against his accountant, it was revealed that the legendary rock star had once spent $391,000 on flowers. When asked about it, he said that he didn't have anyone to leave his money to and liked to spend it. I bet you didn't think that flowers even went up to that price range. So, what would you do with all the money in the world? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in that description. Here's another fact for you. Did you know that the top floor of the US Supreme Court has another kind of court? Made for basketball? 
Or how about the fact that the Eiffel Tower was actually meant to be shipped to Barcelona and not Paris? Click here to check out 25 more hard-hitting facts right here. They'll just punch you right in the face. That's how hard-hitting these facts are. Just boom, facts, right? Just, it's getting weirder as we go. Just please click. Thank you. Love y'all. Not you, Kanye. You, zero love for me.